everyone, this is Maverick Will from iPadMalaysialabs.com. A lot of you have been asking about the backlight bleeding issue on the iPad 2 and want to know whether it affects your unit. What we are going to do today is to provide you with a simple test to check for any backlight bleeding on your unit. And we are also going to include a dead pixels test together with it. Now we're going to go through this uh, step by step. What you want to do is open up your iPad, get to the home screen, and the first thing is access your settings and access brightness and wallpaper. Now what, sh what you want to do is uh, turn off the auto brightness here and turn up the brightness all the way to maximum. This is so that we can have um, as much light coming through the screen as possible. Now go back to the home screen and access your Safari. If you are not already on the tutorials page, which is the iPad backlight bleeding and dead pixels test, do so now. You can go to iPadMalaysialabs.com and look for the post in recent posts here. Or if it's not there anymore, you can uh, refer to uh, the mis miscellaneous guides under topics. Okay, if you're already at the article, you'll want to scroll all the way down past all the screenshots until you get to five colored boxes. You'll have to save all of these uh, images onto your iPad. How you do that is really easy. Just uh, tap on a colored box and hold until a option uh, menu comes out. You'll want to tap on save image. That saves the black box. If you'd like to uh, test for dead pixels, you can go ahead and uh, save all the remaining four colors. Again, it's very easy. Tap and hold, save image. Okay, now go back to the home screen and uh, go to your photos. You'll now have five of the colored boxes that you just saved. Now for backlight bleeding, we're only going to be using the uh, black box. So go ahead and open that up. Make sure the black is filling up the whole screen. If it's not, you can double tap to maximize it. Now you can see it's all black now. I'm going to turn off the light so that we can check for backlight bleeding. You may want to do this in a dark environment for uh, maximum uh, results. As you can see, I'm going to go and turn off the other lights. Okay, as you can see, this is light coming in from the edges here. Okay, there you can see there. These are light coming in, leaking out of the, uh, the edges here. And this is what is known as backlight bleeding. Uh, as uh, far as I can see on my screen, the backlight bleeding is there, but it is not very severe. Okay. If it is very severe, it would probably stretch out to at least one third of the screen. Of course, um, not many of us are going to s view the iPad in a dark screen like this all the time, so it may not affect your experience enough for you to want to uh, return the iPad and get it for an exchange from Apple. Okay, I'm go going to on the light back again. Okay. Now next we're going to ch check for dead pixels. Okay, I'm going to tap, go back to photos and uh, you can continue with white there. Maximize it if it's not maximized. All right. Now what you want to be looking for here are any odd pixels on the screen. If anything seems to be out of color, 
than the background itself. If it's white and you see a black dot, that could probably mean that you have a dead pixels. But do not mistake it for dust. So make sure you wipe down your screen and make sure it is a dead pixel and not a speck of dust. Continue doing this for the other colors. Red. Okay. There we go. Don't seem to see any dead pixels at all. And do that for green. Blue. As well as black. So if you do not see any uh, strange looking pixels out of place, you're good. All right, that is the uh, backlight bleeding test and the dead pixels test for you. I hope that was easy to follow. If uh, you would like a step-by-step -step text instruction, you can head on to the blog post and look for the step-by-step -step tutorial with screenshots. Great. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.